The law of conservation of matter states that matter cannot be created nor destroyed, only transformed. The notion of a balanced equation is based on this principle. This means that the elements and the number of atoms of each element represented on the left side of the equation must also be represented on the right side. Take, for example, this equation. Two hydrogen gas molecules, H2, are added to oxygen gas, O2. The product is two water molecules, H2O. Hydrogen and oxygen are reactants. The law of conservation of matter demands that both elements be represented in the product and that each element have the same number of atoms on the right side and on the left side. Hydrogen and oxygen are represented on the right side. Now let us count atoms. On the left side, hydrogen has a subscript of two, meaning there are two atoms per molecule. There is a coefficient of two, meaning there are two molecules of hydrogen. Multiplying through, we find a total of four hydrogen atoms on the left side. There are two atoms of oxygen on the left side. On the right side, there are two molecules of water, each containing two atoms of hydrogen for a total of four hydrogen atoms. There is one atom of oxygen in each molecule of water on the right side for a total of two oxygen atoms. There are four hydrogen atoms on the left side of the equation and four hydrogen atoms on the right side of the equation. The hydrogen atoms balance. There are two oxygen atoms on the left side of the equation and two oxygen atoms on the right side of the equation. The oxygen atoms balance. The law of conservation of matter has been supported.